Hello, welcome to ICT Master channel. I'm Ala Yusuf. In this video, we'll be looking at some examples of database theory questions for ICT IGCSE. Let's start. Question number one. Take whether the following statements are true or false about student records in a database. A file is a collection of related records. A field is one item of data such as name or address. The same value can occur several times within a key field. A record is the complete data about one student. As you see, these questions ask you about database structure. Now, the answer is, a file is a collection of related records. True, a field is one item of data such as name or address. Again, this is true. The same value can occur several times within a key field. False. A key field is used to uniquely identify each individual record. So the value of a key field may only occur once. So the answer to this question is false. Next, a record is a complete data about one student. True. Question number two. The manager of a supermarket uses a database to store data about the products she sells. This is a part of the database. A. How many records are there in this part of the database? B. How many fields are there in this part of the database? A. The answer is 5. B. The answer is 4. C. The records shown are to be stored in descending order of number in stock. What will be the barcode of the first record in the database after it has been sorted? And the answer is 00272196535. D. Give the name of a field that contains numeric data. And the answer is number in stock. E. Identify the field type of the producer field. And the answer is text or alphanumeric. F. Which field would be the key field? And the answer is the barcode field. Question number three. A school's examination officer has decided to develop a database to store pupil details and the examinations they are due to sit next summer. They are going to use a relational database. A. Describe the steps involved in creating the database. Well, 
Before we try answering this question, let's recall that a relational database is one that contains two or more tables of data connected by links called relationships. Now, here the question provides us with two entities named pupils and examinations that we are going to use to create two tables, namely pupils and examination tables. Next, we are going to identify key fields for both tables that we are going to use to link the two tables together to form a relationship. Then we are going to import data of the two tables. The answer for this question will be any for from. Open database, create new table of pupil data, create new table of examination data, select primary and foreign keys. Set up the relationship between the two database tables using a primary key of one table and a foreign key of the other. Import the data for the pupils from the pupil records. Import the data from the examination from the examinations board. B. Some of the records stored in the database are given below. Based only on the examination details above, complete the table below, stating the most appropriate data type for each field. The answer is field examination ID, data type text or alphanumeric, field name of subject, data type text or alphanumeric, field examination level, data type boolean, field date of exam, data type date. C. Write the search criteria to search for all examinations which will be set after 2606-2018 using at least one of the following operators greater than or greater than or equal or less than or less than or equal or equal. The answer is date of exam greater than 2606-2018, where date of exam is the field of the examination's record. D. Apart from presence check, name and describe a suitable validation check for each of the following fields in the database based on the data shown in Part B, examination ID, date of exam. The answer is for the examination ID field, we may use length check, where the data must be exactly six digits or characters. For Date of exam field, we may use range check, that is, the dates must be a range specified. Also, we may use format check, this must be in the form of two digit slash two digit slash four digits. Question number four. A school library has a file for storing details of the books it has and a file for storing details of its borrowers. 
the two files are linked using a common field. A. How many records are there in the book file? The answer is four records. B. How many fields are there in the borrower file? The answer is there are five fields in the borrower file. C. What type of database do these two files form? The answer is relational database. D. Give two reasons why this type of database system is used rather than having two flat files. The answer is, data doesn't have to be typed in twice. Using this type of database, it is quicker to enter new data. Less storage capacity is used, therefore. E. Which field is the primary key in the book file? The answer is code. Code field is the primary key. F. Which field is the foreign key? Here we are looking for a common field in both tables that is a primary key in one table. So the answer is book borrowed is the foreign key. G. Which field has the data type currency? The answer is cost. H. What data type would be most appropriate for the due back field? The answer is date. I. Name the most appropriate validation check for the number in stock field. The answer is range check. G. Name the most appropriate validation check for the form field. The answer is format check or picture. Question number five. A school keeps records of every student including details of their names, addresses, phone numbers, and dates of birth. Using this information, define the terms file, field, and record. The answer is, a file is a collection of records. For example, all the students' names, addresses, phone numbers, and dates of birth. A field is one item of information, such as name, or address, or phone number, or date of birth. A record is all the information about one student, such as the name, address, phone number, and date of birth of one student. Question number six. Describe the differences between validation and verification, giving two examples of validation checks. The answer is, validation is checking data entered is acceptable or within a given range, while verification is checking data has been entered identically from the data capture form into the system. Examples of 
validation checks or range check, check digit, type check, format check, present check, length check. Question number seven. Explain two ways in which data verification could be done. The answer is first double entry where data is entered twice and comparing the two copies. Second, visual check where data on screen is visually compared with that on data capture form. Question number eight. A systems analyst has created a computer system to keep records in a small pharmacy. The pharmacist will be able to search for details of medicines using the database software. Describe four other database features which will help the pharmacist. The answer is the pharmacist can create reports of stock, create charts of sales, sort medicine records, enter data using input forms, derive costs of reordering medicines using calculated fields. Question number 9. Validation is a way of checking data in a database. Name the most appropriate validation check that matches each description below. First, make sure that the data entered into a field is exactly 10 characters. The answer is length check. Second, make sure that a number lies between 10 and 100. The answer is range check. Next, make sure that the data entered is numeric. The answer is type check. Next, Make sure that the date is entered as dd slash mm slash yyyy. And the answer is format check or picture check. Question number 10. 